On my last video lesson, we created a custom cell with different element attached to it. Now what if we want to display or call a method upon tapping or selecting an item from the list? In programming, an event is an action that occurs as a result of the user or another source, such as a tap or click. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In this video lesson, you will learn how to handle list view selections. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. When a user taps an item, two events are fired. And these are items selected and item tapped. Item selected fires when a new item is selected. An item tapped fires when an item is tapped. So let's see how we work with item selected. In item selected, we have an argument here called E. This gives us information about the selected item. Like name and status. Look at the type selected item property. It's an object. Because we have bound our list view to the list of student info. Each item on the list is a student info object. Which means I can get the selected item and cast it as a student info object. Then we can store the result to a variable. Now we have access to all properties of the selected item, such as name, status, and image. We can now display the information to a display alert method. Let's run the app. Then click on items. So the event looks fine. Now let's add the item tapped event. For the tapped event. The e.item also returns an object, in this case, the student info object. Let's run the app again. You see that both events has been triggered. Now, what is the difference between these two events? If I try to tap this item again, the item selected event is not triggered. Because the selected item fires only if the selected item is new. While the item tapped triggered every time an item is tapped. In my next video lesson, I will be showing you how to add a context menu to a list. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson. Please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone.